Hey folks, here's a lesson on an instrumental version of Sir Duke by Stevie Wonder. This is one where you'll be able to play all of his vocal melodies on the guitar, as well as the other cool guitar riffs from that song. So we're going to start out with a B major triad. Four, four, seven, seven. That was four in the G, four in the B, seven on the B, seven on the E. So it starts out like... And then we've got, we're going to go to this kind of an A flat minor chord here. Six on the D. That's four, three, four on the G. That was four, three, four on the B down to the four on the E. So then we're going to go to a G major type chord. Five, five on the D. Three, two, three on the B string. Three to two on the E. So that was. So let's look at all those together. Okay, so anyway, the chords are going to be B to A, min a flat minor, G, F sharp, B, A flat minor, G, F sharp to the F. And let's take a look at that strumming on that side. So. kind of don't hit on that on that third beat up up down up down up up down up down up up down up down second time you go to the F sharp to the F and then we're going to come up here to this E7 9 Seven on the A, six, seven, seven, seven. It's one of those funk chords. We're gonna have chromatic going one fret at a time. So we got seven. I'm gonna talk about the bass note on these numbers here. Seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. It's kind of cooking at the ears. So that would be like. And the second time. Instead of going like six seven at the end, it goes seven to nine. So once again, you get and then we're to the chorus. B F minor seven, E major seven, E flat minor seven, C sharp minor seven. F sharp 7. So B, F minor 7, E major 7. You call that D sharp minor 7, since we're using the C sharp minor 7 over here, and then we got F sharp 7 over here. Let's talk about one other thing on the on that thing we have a little bit of we can go. So it ends the same way as that other one did with the little higher riff there. Um, it goes one, two, three, four, and it's the first one's on an upbeat. Because it's like three little pickup notes. And then those pickup notes again. Three, four, two. And then chorus. Let's look 
got the big riff. <laughs> Okay, then we'll break that down. So that's going to come from like a B, kind of a triad thing. Seven. And that was seven, six on the A to nine on the E. And then that nine. And that was the six to nine on the D to A. Okay, so that whole thing. It's going to be a tricky one. And then... Two, four on the E to two on the A. Then we're going to come up here to the four on the A. So that was four, five, six, four, five, four, six, seven, four. So let's look at all that. Then we're going to go here, four to four. So that's four, four, seven on the second string, six on the third string, four on the second string. And then we got a couple pull off things here six and four in the G. So that last one went back to the G after the lower note in the D. So let's check all that again. on the G there. It's a little slower on that. And then we got like a kind of pick up notes there and before that. And then so that was six four six four on the A. And then two four two little pick up on this uh, octave of the F sharp. So. Six, four, six on the D. That was just F sharp. Um, but, uh, with, no, with the octave seven on the second string. Of course, you want to mute that one in between. So we got. Okay, now let's look at the way that you could do the melody that he sings. So here would be the verse. So we got four and seven on the second string. We jump all the way to the D string on the sixth fret right there. That's what makes this a very challenging song to sing is that wide amount of he's he's way down here on this note down here but he's also like way up here on this note so that's a whole octave reach right there right in one little line that's a little half step kind of if you're looking at it kind of a in a a minor a flat minors pentatonic kind of pers perspective right there bit and then the same thing so that one has a little different thing on it 
and then into that. So let's give some context to that. Let's do the beginning again. Let that one go by. to the 12th on the B. Here goes the chorus. So that was one of those kind of like where you pull off as you come down to the bend. It would be on the 11th and 11th fret of the E string with the 14. Go to the 16 and do that bend thing. I'll fiddle around with the phrasing a little bit and just make it interesting. song by stevie wonder about all of the kind of jazz musical greats like and subscribe there'll be a lot more coming appreciate you thanks a lot i'm damon have a great day